Hi everyone, my name is Samuel and welcome back to SMS Weekly. When was the last time I said that? So currently most of us are being urged to stay at home because of you know what. And some people are currently moaning about it, which I genuinely don't see the point in. Because you are being asked to stay at home and stream random on Netflix. Which, in my opinion, is the most convenient solution to benefit humanity. So this two to three week break, depending on which country you're in, is the perfect opportunity to improve yourself, improve your knowledge, improve your, some of your skills, as well as give yourself that little bit more time to relax. So I'm coming up with a few dozen don'ts during a lockdown. Just a disclaimer here, I'm currently studying in a university and we still have online classes going on. So a couple of my dozen don'ts will be based on that but don't click off the video don't click off the video because uh, this is not dozen those during the lockdown sponsored by Monash University like there's a higher chance of the earth being flat than my university sponsoring one of my videos so I will keep it general but at the same time I just want to keep a couple in there but anyways like and subscribe if you like the content and let's get right into it have you ever had one of those instruments you want to learn so bad but your schedule does not really allow you time to dedicate into it. Have you ever had one of those books? One of those languages you wanted to learn? Or even one of those sports? Oh wait, that's a bad idea. Never mind. So in this current situation, you're stuck at home for one to two weeks. It's like ample time for your brain to rot into a useless sack. But it's also a good amount of time for you to actually, you know, try to develop your arsenal. Some new things you can learn because you are already stuck at home, right? So might as well make the most out of a bad situation so uh, personally speaking i'm currently on my second book since the lockdown started which was on the 18th of march it's called uh, flow i'm not even gonna pronounce the author's name i'm just not bothered if i have time i might if i finish this book before the lockdown i'll try to make a book review of it but yeah we'll see we'll see and obviously this youtube channel because i used to do a lot of youtube back in 2018 and 2019 i dropped off a bit because i didn't have the time now i have the time and uh, hopefully i can do more videos i'm hoping i can i'm hoping i can we'll see so past time it actually refers to more as board games online games netflix youtube whatever fits your bill Something that gives your life a sense of enjoyment because the last thing you need is a burnout while being stuck at home because you decided to be a nonce and read 200 pages of books a day. That's the last thing you need. You, need, you don't need burnout. Relax. Because this is not serious business. Relax, watch some movies, watch some videos, play some chess, play some board games. Enjoy yourself and do all the stuff in a certain period of time. And then most of them just try to enjoy yourself because it's not every day a pandemic asks you to stay at home. So make the most of that. So personal experience, I would say because I live alone and there aren't really many people around here, I say chess.com where I play chess. I can play online with other people because I live alone. So I have to adapt a lot more than other people. And uh, sometimes probably I don't really have, I'm not really that much of a gaming person, maybe football manager, that's another game I play. That's about it, I don't really play that many games, maybe a bit of Netflix, a bit of YouTube. That's about it for me, I'm not really that online gaming sort of person. I think this one applies more towards people like me, but it still doesn't mean that other people can't relate to it. Like, just because you are being asked to stay at home doesn't actually give you the excuse to actually lose contact with your relatives or your friends. Unless you hate them, in that case, just go ahead. So like human interaction is a big part of how we live our lives and uh, you can get that. Like It's not like the 1980s or the 1990s where unless you meet in person, you're all You can actually meet them via Skype or whatever technology is here. So just, you know, try to communicate with them. Don't be a stranger. Again, this one applies more towards people who currently have online classes because uh, 
I hate to uh, break it to you lads, but uh, our time management are sh There is a high chance that we will not do it according to how our normal timetable goes. So it's really important we actually, you know, set up maybe even not like an entire spreadsheet. Unless you're a nerd, I don't know why you would do that. Maybe like a piece of paper, just write but from what to what you're gonna do, from what to what you're gonna do, what goals you wanna complete for the day, or even what even if you don't want to do daily, maybe what goals you want to complete by the end of the week. At least have a sense of target you want to accomplish by the end of the week. Even if you are learning a new instrument, you want to know how much you want to learn per week. At least set a goal. Or maybe even if you're reading a book, maybe how many pages per day or how many chapters per day. Just, you know, keep a limit. If it goes beyond the limit, okay, good for you. If it goes under the limit, if I speak, I am in trouble. Just make sure you don't go under the limit. Like try to keep, you know, a realistic target. Don't be like, I'm gonna finish 300, a 300 page book in two days because unless you actually are an absolute nonce, you're not gonna complete the book. Trust me, mark my words. I've done it before. It's not impossible. So realistic target, set goals for the week, and you're good, I think. Again, this one applies more towards people with like online lectures to watch, online tutorials, and that is uh, this is sort of a breaking news. Our lectures, they're not a Netflix series. We are studying matrix multiplication, not the piggy f blindness. So it's important for you to actually keep concentration and not just binge watch through the entire three hours, because chances are. You will, number one, lose concentration, which will lead for you to restart, which will lead for you to waste time. Which brings me on to my second don't. Don't waste your goddamn time. Just because you're stuck at home doesn't really give you the reason to actually waste time, does it? That came out wrong. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is basically like don't actually spend more than you need to on like the first bit. Like don't spend way too much time and completing just a little bit of work try to be efficient like that's what I'm, i think that's what i'm trying to say try to be efficient and you will get to where you are probably you'll finish it and when like let's say you're reading a book let's say i'm reading my book i'm gonna finish maybe five to six pages uh if i'm actually concentrated and i'll try to go through it probably it will last 30 minutes one more no more than 45 minutes no more than 45 minutes and then i'll get into a new thing probably study probably two hours a day and then I'll get onto Netflix or even YouTube or even chess like don't actually waste too much time on one thing because the chances are if you spend too much time on one thing you will complete less work than you so you're supposed to and I think that's about it this video is kind of a bit general because uh, I really want to get this through this is one of my first videos in a really long time so yeah like and subscribe if you haven't yet. What do you think of the video? Let me know in the comment sections down below. And hopefully I will make a new video next week. Until then, peace out.